Hey everybody, it's Josh Connor in the Songwriters Circle. Back again tonight at the Opry Backstage Grill where there's a great Wednesday night Songwriters Night going on here every week featuring the new group Brassfield Alley. Tonight in the Songwriters Circle, legendary country music superstar, Gospel Hall of Famer, <laughs> And Statler brother, it's Jimmy Fortune. Hey there. Thanks, Josh. I appreciate it. Doing good, man. Everything's good. It's great to be here tonight with these kids, and these kids are wonderful. If you haven't heard them, you need to get down here and check them out because they are great. Not only great singers, entertainers, songwriters, but they're great kids, too. So uh, everybody get a kick out of them. But it's an honor to be here. It really is. What you been up to these days? I'm still touring. Uh, the Statler brothers retired, believe it or not, 12 years ago. I still can't believe it, but uh, and when they retired, I continued on. So I've been touring all over the country and uh, Canada and uh, just about anywhere, uh, go just about anywhere. But it's uh, it's been a great ride. It really has to have a career even after the Statlers. And uh, we just got back off of a cruise. We did a Caribbean cruise, Jimmy Fortune Caribbean cruise, and we do that every year. This is our tenth uh, year, I believe, we've been doing it, and uh, that's going really good. Continue to write songs, uh, written quite a, quite a few songs, and uh, and still continue to do that. So, once it's in your blood, you can't quit. What can I say? You know. <laughs> well, speaking of songs, let's talk about oh, let's talk about Elizabeth. It's such a great song. Every time I've ever heard it, yeah. heard you sing it, it just the room is just you could hear a pen drop. Tell me about that. Elizabeth's been really good to me. Uh, matter of fact, uh, it was the first song I ever wrote was Elizabeth, and wow. uh, yeah, wow. it was the first song. <laughs> I I had uh, I was playing music six nights a week. Uh, back then working two daytime jobs before the Statlers hired me and um, and I never had time to write I just never had time to do it but then after they hired me I found myself with a little time on my hands I went to Harold Phil and Don I said guys Lou DeWitt was a great songwriter he wrote Flowers on the Wall one of the best songs ever mm -hmm. I said if I write a song would you guys record it and Harold looked at me he said well yeah little buddy if it's good enough you know <laughs> about six six octaves lower than I can do it but and I thought that was fair you know but then I had this beautiful melody in my head and so I, uh, I, I kept thinking, you know, what can I put with this? And I was in a, a grocery store uh, up home in Virginia. We're getting ready to go out on, on tour, on a, on a pretty extensive tour. And I kept hearing this uh, woman in, inside. There had, she had a little girl named Elizabeth, and she kept getting on her about getting into things in the grocery store. She said, now, Elizabeth, don't do this, don't do that. And I just kept hearing that name over and over. On the way to Tulsa, Oklahoma is where we were going. Uh, Harold pulls out the movie Giant, which stars Elizabeth Taylor and Rock Hudson and James Dean. Of course, Elizabeth Taylor is so beautiful in that movie. Again, Elizabeth's coming up, you know, in my mind and everything. And, and so we get to Tulsa, Oklahoma. I'm doing a concert that night. And in the concert, this beautiful young lady comes up out of the audience, grabs my hand, and would not let go. She held on. She kept saying, I'm Elizabeth. I'm Elizabeth. And she wouldn't let go. So finally she let go. And when she did, I fell into the drums and almost knocked the drums off the stage. But anyway, I was thinking, you know, God's trying to tell me something. I need to put that name in a song because, you know, let's face it. How many families do you know? Everybody has someone named Elizabeth. I have a daughter named Jessica Elizabeth. So, you know, it's, it's a big name in my family, too. But uh, I just thought it was a beautiful name. And uh, and I always say that the, the good Lord uh, gave me that song because he knew he knew I needed a song. He knew the Statlers needed something right at that time. So uh, it uh, it it like I said that that song became a number one song. It was a song of the year, video of the year, and I won Songwriter of the Year for that song, cool. 1985. So you really hit it out of the park. I, I mean, it was uh, it was I was like, well, this is easy. What do I do next? I <laughs> but I found out it's not that easy. And um, but you know. The good Lord's looked out for me. I've had uh, quite a few uh, great songs with the Statlers and, and still continue today to, to write. And most of my stuff is more of a, I guess, I try to keep positive family type uh, messages in my songs and everything. And and um, anyway, that's what I like to do. And and uh, the songs seem to touch a lot of people. It's a message, you know, in them. So anything has got a message. I'm all for it. Speaking of messages, what are your words of song wisdom for those writers out there that are trying to become successful? Well, I always tell people if you love something, you do it as much as you can and you get in front of people as much as you can because when you're in front of people, you're kind of you're concentrating to make yourself better all the time. And and nothing will make you do that better than being in front of people because if you embarrass yourself, guess what? You'll improve next time you go out there in front of them or you just or you just won't do it. But <laughs> but hopefully if you believe in yourself and and, and you want to do it, um, just do it as much as you can. Uh, surround yourself with uh, as, as good a writers and good as singers, good musicians as you can because you're learning, you know, you're learning all the time, which is one of the reasons I moved to Nashville because uh, I knew uh, that I was going to be around the best in the world in every field. 
uh, bar none. I don't care where you go, the best are here. And um, so I've learned a lot from I've learned a lot from these kids that are that are out here, and I'm always learning, and and I want to continue to learn. And so the more you can do it, like I said, uh, even if it's just for yourself uh, to go out and have and enjoy singing a song or write or writing a song, it's it's at least fulfilling for yourself. And then who knows what it might lead to? You know, if that's your dream, keep dreaming it, trying to trying to make your dream come true. Jimmy Fortune, what a pro! Well, thank you, buddy. I appreciate that. You too. It was nice to talk with you. We will have all kinds of great information online for you, plus more interviews with Nashville's hit songwriters. You can check it out now. It's Josh Connor and the songwriter circle.com. See you there.